Hi, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kringen, Seattle. I am an artist and a model. I primarily make a living modeling nude for people who draw me and paint me. I'm nude and natural. I'm comfortable with my sexuality and my nudity. Uh, I also make face masks. This is one of my art designs printed on it. Uh, this is my own personal mask that I'm showing you as a sample. I have these on sale on my website for $20 each. Uh, you can uh, pay online with PayPal, Zelle, Venmo, Google Wallet, uh, or check cash and money order through my P.O. box if you don't like to do the digital thingy Mick Jagger. So I am here to say that uh, we are here uh, now to have to work online. I am pretty sure I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Thank you. Um, I'm pretty sure that from, from now on, we're going to have to make a living online. I can't speak for the entire world, but here in Seattle, uh, for 28 years, I have been modeling online for, I mean, I have been modeling in person for artists at literally 15 different art schools. And I also work as a patient model. Uh, like standardized patient for medical students. And right now in Seattle, the medical schools have pretty much closed down in terms of me being a model for them. Um, the curriculum can't really be online for what I do for medical students. And so I don't know if I'm ever going to have that work ever again. So I don't know what the future is of my work as an art and medical model. Uh, medical modeling paid really well. It was $30 an hour minus taxes. So I really miss that income. I also really love working with medical students. And so I'm grieving the loss of that job. Um, and I'm also grieving the loss of working in person with art students. Um, I work, I model still for about five different art schools. Maybe after a while, all the schools will hire us online. I'm not sure. Only a few of them are hiring us. So this video, let's see, what is this video for? This is for my YouTube and Facebook um, audience. Hi, YouTube and Facebook. In real life, in person, I'm a very shy person. For some reason, I like to videotape myself. Uh, I also do a radio show called Goddess Crane Radio, where I record my voice and I do monologues, poetry, and music every week for an hour. Um, I've been feeling lots of grief, sadness, anger, fear, frustration. I'm upset about the injustice in the world, but I also don't want to get caught up in the polarity, the polarization of us versus them um, in terms of politics, in terms of injustice of any kind. So I'm not going to go into detail, but uh, I'm well aware of what's happening in the world, and I'm very angry and frustrated about the injustice and prejudice and violence in the world. Um, but I don't want to get sucked into the us versus them because I feel like fighting against sometimes just reinforces the duality and the us versus them. And I'm concerned that it's not really going to solve the problem. So my solution for myself is to learn how to make a living online. Um, some of the art schools where I model, actually only one of them so far is having us come in person, uh, and follow certain safety protocol. Um, and then I'm going to model in the art studio with just the instructor and they're going to videotape us models posing in like a bathing suit or body suit or bikini, uh, form fitting clothing instead of being nude. I'm comfortable being nude, but they're telling us we, that we don't have to be nude and that for privacy reasons, we probably shouldn't be nude on webcam. But I, per, I personally, I'm kind of a nudist and a naturist. And so I wouldn't care if the entire world saw me nude. Um, but that's not the way our culture works. And so I'm just going to follow the rules that they're suggesting. My own private uh, drawing group that I run myself I have the Shannon Kringen figure drawing session. It's every Friday night, Pacific Standard Time, 6.45 p.m. to 9 p.m., a $10 fee. I also offer sliding scale. If you need the price to be lower than $10 to draw me or paint me nude, 
um, and I do gesture like two minute gesture poses and then I do five and ten minute poses and then I'll do a longer like 20 minute pose if that's what somebody wants if somebody requests a long pose I'll do it for painting or drawing uh, so I've been modeling for over 20 years in the Seattle area and I just wanted to share that um, one art school is having us come in person and then videotaping us posing and then they're going to use that multiple times for the students at the art school uh, and they're paying us double per hour or higher than normal per hour, I think a little bit over double per hour, which is great, uh, but they're going to use it multiple times and that's partly why and they're giving us less hours so it kind of balances out actually. Um, but and then a couple other schools are hiring us live on webcam to do Zoom live webcam sessions for the students and that's at the actual time of the class like it was a normal class and then we do our timesheets and they pay us and then there's a third option which is we send pre-recorded videos that we make as models posing um, in body suits and bathing suits and bikinis and form-fitting clothing so they can see the shape of our figure and our torso for the anatomy um, or we send them photos and so there's three ways that I can model I can go in person I can oh wait there's four ways oh my gosh I could go in person and get filmed by the instructor and then students log in later to draw from it that's one way the second way is um, I send them photos or videos that I record myself and then students draw and paint from that. Uh, the third way is live webcam interaction that takes place at the real time of the class. And what's the fourth way? I think there's four different ways. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I'm tired. Um, okay. So there's new ways in which I model. Uh, I'm also looking into another online job. I also have two pay websites. I have members. I've sold 35 face masks with my art printed on them. Thank you so much to everyone who's bought face masks for me. I'm happy that I can take my creative talent as an artist and turn it into a money-making business, which is to sell face masks to anybody who enjoys my designs, non-representational abstract designs. Um, another way in which I'm earning money is I sold my uh, a copy of my book, Art, Identity, and the Sacred, which is a 140-page full-color hardcover book. Uh, recently sold a copy of that. Thank you so much to the person who purchased that. Uh, and then I also have a um, Patreon where I have fine art nudes that people can draw and paint from, and I have multimedia art that people can join and enjoy, and like every couple days or so I add something new to it. I have a lot of art that I add. I have music and poetry and blog entries on my radio show, uh, Goddess Kring Radio, where I do monologues and poetry and music that I create. I have a lot of photos that I share, um, non-representational abstract art, as well as actual beautiful photographs of nature and, and creative self-portraits that are unusual and pictures of my beautiful orange fluffy cat Kisun, uh, beautiful pictures of plants and animals and nature. Um, I have a really good eye for color and composition, so I'm a really, really good photographer. Uh, I also have gotten paid to take headshots for people. So I have been hired as a photographer and I have been hired as a model and I've been modeling for 28 years since 1992. Um, what else? And I also have another pay website, which is a more spicy side of me, the more sensual, erotic side of me. Hopefully I'm allowed to say that here, uh, but that's a whole secret address and I only give that to adults who ask in private and I privately email that to people. So if you're curious about that side of me, my erotic art side, then you can ask me about my erotic art website. It's art and it's erotic. Um, but my, my Patreon is strictly fine art nude only. There's nothing erotic on there. It's just nude and natural. But most of the art on there is not me nude. It's, it's different kinds of art. It's photos and um, there's nude photos of me to peop for, so people can paint and draw from the photos of me. Those are artistic nudes, um, fine art, nothing erotic. Um, but there's a lot of my actual art, not me as a model. See, I'm a, I'm a model. I model for others, but I also model for myself. I do a lot of self-portraits, um, and I've done a lot of, I have a waterproof camera, so I photograph myself underwater, 
And so I just have a lot of different kinds of artwork that I share on my Patreon. And I, I you can join for as little as a dollar a month. I might even try recording my voice and do ASMR. Is that what it's called? ASMR, where you whisper. Maybe I'll do a whisper video after this. That's what I'll do and I'll upload it. Um, I might try doing some recordings like that to attract new fans. Um, because I need to earn a living online full time. And uh, I don't know when or if ever the art schools are going to open again. So I don't know how my modeling career is going to continue. Uh, I have about another 20 years before I retire. So I'm going to need to just keep earning money online full time. The good news is I go to food banks every week and I stockpile food. I have a very low income life. I have a very cheap lifestyle and I'm very proud of it. A lot of Americans are materialistic and like to brag about how much money they have. I'm not one of those Americans. Uh, I'm more like an Amish person in terms of thinking it's cool to be humble and plain and simple. And I'm very frugal. Even if I was a billionaire, I would be very frugal. I know that I would. I probably, if I was a billionaire, I would be one of those really annoying rich people that was cheap. I mean, I would give tips to people. I would give fair tips to people, like 20% or whatever. Um, I would tip people well, um, but I would still be looking for a good deal, and I wouldn't waste money on materialistic crap that I don't need. I wouldn't be buying a yacht if I was rich. I would have still have a fuel efficient car um, as a low income person I have, and I'm proud of being low income um, because I do what I love for a living. I don't have a corporate job that I hate. Uh, I never, I wouldn't even know how to get a corporate job that I hated anyway, because I, I am just not a very corporate person. I'm a naked person. I'm somebody who doesn't even shave my armpits or my pubic hair. So um, I'm not fake. I don't even have any makeup on right now. I have no makeup on. I don't paint my fingernails. My fingernails are natural. My toenails are natural. I'm comfortable being nude. I'm comfortable around artists. Uh, I'm a very casual person. I'm a very, um, I'm a good artist, but I'm not super upscale, fine art, hoity-toity, fancy schmancy art gallery kind of gal. I'm not that person. I'm a self-taught artist. My mom uh, kind of taught me how to be an artist. My mom's a visual artist. She raised me with Hunter Wasser in our house. Hunter Wasser is an amazing Austrian artist who's self-taught, uh, influenced by Gustav Klimt. Um, so I love Gustav Klimt. Um, so what was I going to say? And Francis Bacon and artists like that. But um, and Rauschenberg and, and more um, abstract expressionist type artists, but um, I'm more into that kind of art. Uh, part of why I got into figure modeling is because I don't really love, uh, I really appreciate realistic art, but it's not my favorite. Um, I appreciate it, the skill, I'm more into narrative painting. I'm more into painterly paint. I'm more into texture and mood. I'm more into abstraction. I'm more into modern abstract art, oh, although well done. There's a lot of really bad abstract art in the world that's poorly designed. There's rules about color and composition in realistic art, just like there is in abstract art, non-representational abstract art. I think Hunter Wasser is a great abstract artist, but um, abstract art has been given a bad name by a lot of people, but I know good abstract art from bad, but I'm very opinionated about all of that. So I'm trying to figure out how to make my full-time living online because I feel like for the next 20 years, that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, I feel like our whole culture has changed. It will never be the same again. Uh, this is a financial takeover as much as it's a medical crisis. Um, our financial system and our, our, our medical system is based on money. And in, in the United States, I can't speak for all countries, but here in the United States, our pharmaceutical industry and our medical industry is all based on profit, sickness, and death. It's not really a health care system. It's more of a death care system. It's more of a sick care system to make money for pharmaceutical industries who want to make a profit. And so that's kind of what our medical industry is based upon. So when you mix in the medical crisis we're in with the financial crisis we're in, we got a big time apocalypse. So everything is falling apart and crumbling right now. Uh, I'm in good health. Uh, I eat healthy. I exercise. I eat to boost my immune system, which means I get natural sunlight. Um, I, I'm sunbathing out there in my bikinis when I can, and I have a plant grow lights that I sit under in my house. 
so I have ways of taking care of myself. Vitamin D3 from natural sunlight is very important for your immune system. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm not a medical doctor. This is not medical advice. Although I would caution you if you actually have a doctor and you listen to what your doctor says, some of the mainstream standard of care actually isn't good medical advice. So I wouldn't say trust your doctor. I would say make sure you make sure you find a doctor you can actually trust because they don't teach doctors in medical school about um, nutrition and how important that is to your health. They don't really teach them that much about the immune system and nutrition and how important that is for your health. So I can't say I'm a big fan of mainstream medicine. I'm not. So um, my cat is mildly diabetic and I managed to feed him a raw meat diet, especially made for cats, nutritionally balanced for all life stages for cats. And he doesn't need insulin shots because of that. But if I fed him what the vet would prescribe me, he would be ill and need insulin and he would get sicker and sicker and sicker and then he would die. So that's mainstream veterinary advice, which I do not follow. Uh, I follow the advice of a naturopathic holistic vet. Uh, there's a lady online called Karen Becker, Dr. Karen Becker, and she has smart things to say about feeding dogs and cats species appropriate food, which is mostly real meat, not fake synthetic vitamins in a can that have been cooked and had chemicals added, not wheat gluten and rice and oats and corn gluten and weird like fake vegetable oils and stuff like that. That's not what cats and dogs need to be healthy. So same with humans. Humans don't need seed oils. Humans need real food like whole like meat, vegetables, fruits, whole foods made by nature, not refined grains, not refined carbs and sugar. Um, it's horrifying to me that when you go to the hospital, they feed you white flour and white sugar. That's not healthy. So um, there's vending machines in hospitals, which I guess is everyone's choice if they want to buy vending machine food. There's millions of dollars being made off junk food, so I can see why hospitals want to spend fifty thousand dollars. You know, Pepsi or um, well, I shouldn't say the name of brands, should I? But um, soft drink companies and white flour and sugar candy bar companies give hospitals lots of money to have vending machines put in their hospitals and it's everyone's free choice if they want to eat junk food that makes them diabetic and obese and have heart disease and get sick and then need drugs and surgery instead of eating healthy so that's everyone's choice i'm a little angry about that but that's our modern civilization we eat junk food and then we take drugs and we need surgery instead of actually just eating healthy food in the first place, which would prevent a lot of preventative medicine would prevent a lot of the chronic debilitating diseases. If you listen to Dr. Paul Saladino online, he mentions this. A lot of the trailblazing doctors that I follow and some of them have PhDs online talk about nutrition and your immune system and how important that is to prevent and or maintain your health and prevent diseases and help you not die from the current sickness that's going around or any other chronic debilitating disease. Um, your chance of survival is a lot higher if you actually eat in a way and exercise in a way, get natural fresh air and sunlight and enough sleep and hydration and real nutrition and food and vitamins and minerals and protein and fat and not tons of carbs, especially no refined carbs, that helps your immune system function at its best. And um, our DNA is, is malleable, it's flexible. It, there's neuroplasticity in your brain, but there's also plasticity in your DNA and how your genes are expressed directly results from your lifestyle, your food, your exercise choices. So I'm very educated about this. I've watched hundreds of hours of videos of doctors, nutritionists, dietitians, and trailblazing people trying to help the system change for the better. Um, and I really appreciate those people. So this is just, I guess I'm on a soapbox. <laughs> my friend said I'm on a soapbox all the time. Well, my friend that doesn't like me that much says I'm on a soapbox at all times. So I'm really into nutrition and health. Uh, economically, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm okay. So I have a Patreon, I have a spicy website, I have a face mask that I sell. I have lots of different creative ways in which I express myself and I earn some money. I also share a lot of my stuff for free. ShannonKringa.com is my main website. Uh, the future is uncertain. Who knows what's going to happen, but I am pretty much thinking that I have to make a living online for the rest of my life. Um, 
Maybe I'm going to be able to go back and work at art schools. I don't know. So hopefully, I still model at about five different art schools. I used to model at about 15, so that's really changed. Um, so thank you for listening. My name is Shannon Kringen. I'm an artist and a model. Um, I'll put my links below. You can join my figure modeling session uh, every Friday, 6.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. Again, it's a $10 fee. You can pay as little as a dollar to draw me. If you can't afford $10, you can pay as little as a dollar. Uh, but I would love it if you could pay $10, but that's fine if you can only pay one or two or five bucks, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bucks. You can even pay me 20 bucks if you want, but um, if you just pay $10, I'm happy. But if you pay $1, you can come and draw me. So same with my Patreon. My Patreon, you can join for $1 a month, $2, $5, $10, $20, $30 a month. Um, $1 or $2 a month, you, you get most access to most of my art. If you pay me $5 a month or more on my Patreon, you get access to my fine art nudes, and it's for adults only. Uh, adults only so you need a credit card to join that so um, adults only just letting you know so thank you for listening and um, good luck to everyone I hope you're staying um, healthy and happy and doing whatever you can to protect yourself financially and emotionally and medically and physically um, I'm trying not to get brainwashed by any propaganda I'm trying to listen to uh, common sense and do things that are healthy for me and my friends and my family and I'm a big supporter of democracy and free speech. I love trailblazers. I love people who use their common sense and speak out for what's right. And, you know, different people agree or disagree on what is right and what is wrong. But I'm a supporter of free speech. Even if somebody says something I don't agree with, I'm still a supporter of free speech. I'm not a huge fan of multi-billion dollar corporations that can pay for million dollar ads that sell us uh, information that may or may not be true but I can't control that so I'm just here as a low-income artist and model private citizen sharing what I share free speech so thank you for listening have a good day good luck to everyone uh, support me on my websites if you want please subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my YouTube channel please like this video if you like it, please share it with anyone who you think might uh, get something out of it. If you want to do your own channel, I encourage you to get a webcam and do your own YouTube channel and talk um, or do your own podcast. I do my podcast slash radio show. I've done it every week for three years. It's called Goddess Kring Radio. Um, I don't know how many people listen, but I keep making it anyway because until the day I die, I will express myself. While we still have free speech and a certain amount of democracy, I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you. Bye.